Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over some madness and I'm talking about server disconnection. All credit to the Facebook community, real exploits and glitches. There was an amazing glitcher over there that posted a method of a circular camp that would disconnect. I was definitely interested in this glitch and decided to follow up more on it. A few days later, Mr. Risk had posted a wild method. I'm talking really wild and we're going to get right into that. And so I decided to hit him up and say, hey, would you like to make a collaboration video and, uh, you know, he was definitely cool with it, and big shout out to Mr. Risk. The dude's an absolute legend and a champion just for helping me out. He didn't even have to take the time out of his day to even show me this or even help me out with my alternate account. He knows that he's the man, and I I just can't even say enough. So much love there, man, and let's just get right into this video. What you all just saw right there was a complete fully disconnection glitch, which means if I go to my challenges, I should have that weekly still there, and bada boom, I do. And not only that, I'm going to show you something interesting as well, because you're probably thinking, oh, well, did you keep the score? Indeed, I did. As you guys see on the top right, what do you know? I have the same score that I just earned, and I was able to reset that weekly challenge, which means I was able to acquire a thousand points towards that scoreboard. Now, you're probably wondering, does this work for allies? And I absolutely have to confirm it does. Before we even tested the scoreboard or even this ally glitch right here with the disconnection, Mr. Risk came up with a great idea, which was unlimited lunchboxes, and it absolutely works. I'm sure you were expecting it just works type of joke but I, I feel like that that joke's dead or is it still dead i don't know but basically yeah this absolutely works but it's going to cost you not only your time a lot of materials and part of your soul uh not really your soul but it, it'll seem like it because of how much you have to put into it this is not one of those glitches that is for the faint of heart i was not even sure if we were going to even be able to attempt this but uh yeah if we definitely did first and foremost if you even have the material to even do this i just want to say i do not recommend you doing this at all this glitch is all for entertainment purposes just so you guys are able to see that this is actually legit and real so if you're able to attempt this i want to say if anything happens to your account such as a ban or if your main account is suspended or whichever or even if your console breaks down or whatever this is absolutely on you i'm just showing this for entertainment not telling you to do it mr risk also noted that 560 is overkill here but he absolutely knows that it works he also noted that each one has to be powered to a conduit so they cannot be wired to each other and he says this is all due to way the power is distributed through this and what you're seeing right here is 15 flame traps per a tile and we have about eight of those tiles in one row so with the math there we did 15 times 8 you have 120 because 15 per a tile there are four rows here but technically a fifth one with just two tiles to add up the remaining flame traps which if i remember right mr risk said 560 is overkill but it absolutely does work so it does not hurt to go big we have also added some Tesla arc traps on top. Not only this, I tried doing an experiment where I would just place down a ton of Tesla arcs and trust me, it took a lot of my material and time and it did not work as well as this method. So I would probably recommend using the flame traps more instead of just trying to place down a bunch of Tesla arcs. On top of that, we have a switch and six generators here. You're now probably receiving the whole image right now. The whole picture is painted perfectly. This is a lot of work for a glitch and I know but these are the first steps that you absolutely have to do before you even do the last final steps because if you do not have this up to where you have a ton of flame traps then you're absolutely not going to get that server disconnection and you're going to be wasting materials and be a very grumpy person in the end this is what we have six generators a switch a conduit a ton of flame traps and i believe 50 tesla arcs on top of course you can do this any way you please but this is just one of the ways or one of the few ways that you can do it there's of course the original way which was the circle method then you have mr risk hotbox method which i absolutely dig that so how do we do this what we're going to do for now is we're going to start activating our lunch boxes what you're seeing right here is mr risk perspective i'm on the other side and currently he is activating his lunch boxes what he has done previously is he has activated all of the flame traps with that switch that we have talked about once all the switches have been activated, 
you're going to be able to repair all those flame traps. When you do make that initial repair, what's going to happen is it's going to completely lag the server to a whole new level. And I am not kidding. By this time, you should see the server disconnection pop up. And this one is not a warning. This one goes all the way through. And you're going to be able to revert a lot of stuff backwards. And man, it is an absolute crazy glitch. He was able to keep his XP boost, I believe, too. So there was no need for me to leave in the beginning. But either way, Way, this is great way to have unlimited XP boost with those lunch boxes. Another great thing to note down is when you do fully activate that switch and all those flame traps have been activated and include the test larks, what you're going to notice when you pop back into a new lobby, literally your frames will drop down to one FPS. I'm not kidding. Moving on forward, Mr. Risk was fully disconnected with the glitch. Now he went back to his dash box to see if those lunch boxes are there. And indeed, they still are there. What's cool about this is there's a ton, tons of more stuff to experiment with it to see what we can do. But so far, this is it. And before I head on out, I'm sure I'm going to be receiving some comments down below asking, why would you post this when April 27th is literally around the corner? We're going to have that new scoreboard. What's the point? Well, I think they're going to patch the budget glitch anyways. Now, even though I say that, I actually have heard some rumors about how the magazine Zine glitch, mag swap glitch cannot be patched because of how it's based on lag. Not sure if that's 100% true that it cannot be patched because I'm not a developer. I'm not sure if the one that said that's a developer either, but it's it's something to consider. So who knows? But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you absolutely like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We have a little sausage running around here, giving my videos a thumbs down. In the end, little sausages will be little sausages. And that is all. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch these videos again and again and coming back i appreciate the support and that is all have a great one take care of yourselves and happy glitching peace